Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this equations, I'm going to be using some paper because I'm going to be making a template. Now for this, I'm going to be guiding myself from the size of a cupcake liner. I made a review on this one and they are by Wilton, but you don't need to use this brand. This is just because I used them. And so I'm just going to be cutting the piece of paper until I feel like it fits the size so that my decorations look like proportioned to the size of my liners and cupcakes. But I'm going to be folding them in half, going from left to right. I'll just draw a line from like the top part to the bottom part, drawing half a triangle. Then with my pencil, I'm going to be drawing the edges so that they are curved and not like pointy. Then cut it and when you open this, it's going to look like an even triangle with round shapes or like a candy corn shape. Then I'm going to be taking a piece of cardboard and I'm going to trace a shape. This is just because this is going to be a template for my decorations and so it's easier to work with cardboard because it's thicker. And the good thing about this one is that you can customize it, make it as big as you want want to customize your edges and stuff. I'm going to be working with gum paste. I do have the review for this one if you want to check it out. And I'm going to be rolling some in some parchment paper using my roller that has those two ring rings on each side. Those are there just so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my gum paste and everything dries at the same time. And yeah, just placing my pattern on top and then just go with my exacto knife and cut the whole thing. It's easier to cut it as soon as you roll it because gum paste dries with air and so it's going to be harder for you to uh, cut it once it's like getting hard and set. And again, before my gum paste starts to dry and set, I'm going to be removing my cardboard piece just so that my gum paste doesn't dry and my cardboard doesn't get stuck in there. I'm going to be using some food coloring, some yellow and an orange. I do have the review for this orange one, it's by Wilton. And I'm going to be paint painting the whole thing, mixing them with some vodka. And the brushes that I'm using are the ones by Wilton. Honestly, I really like them, but feel free to work with any like arts and crafts uh, brushes. And the bottom part is going to be yellow. Then the middle part is going to be orange, obviously. And I'm going to be blending like the edges and maybe overlapping the colors a little bit so it looks like actual candy corns. Then I actually went with some white yellow coloring as well that it was like missing some of like white pop-up but yeah, just painting them blending it with the uh, orange now i'm gonna let them dry and with vodka they dry overnight i'm gonna be using this fine line edible marker to draw the face first i'm gonna be adding the eyes which are like two dots first and then just make the dot bigger and then a smile and to be honest this is pretty much like if you have ever done eyeliner that you want like a simple and just like super fine line and you end up with a like a super thick and just like super bold eyeliner this is sort of it in like edible stuff mine ended up uh, looking like a crescent moon but i actually think it's really cute so whenever you're doing this and you're kind of thinking should i stop right here stop right there because then it's gonna be like too much then I'm going to be using these two tools that I do have the DIYs for. They are dotting tools and I'm going to be using again my white gel for coloring and my vodka and I'm going to be adding some dots. First going with the bigger dot and then I'm going with the smaller dot. Also, I just wanted to show you if you made a mistake and you went a bit too close with those dots, don't worry, don't panic. You can actually remove this with your fingers going inwards. I know in the moment you feel like you ruined the whole thing and then just apply your marker again. Now, those white dots, because we're working with black background, they're not going to be as as when you first apply them, they actually become grayish, but you can still see them and I think they look cute anyways. Now I'm guessing if you add the same coat of that white one, you're going to be making those dots pop a lot more. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to ruin the whole thing. Feel free to use this idea to decorate cookies, cupcakes and cakes. I'm just decorating some cupcakes here. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this uh, really easy idea that I think is really cute. And I also wanted to wish you a happy Halloween. Hope you have a great and safe time. But yeah, if you like this idea, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out more Halloween and cupcakes that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more and share this. And thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.